Welcome to Slant News TV, where we bring you the latest news and analysis from around the world. In today's breaking news, former Indian politician Atik Ahmed, who was convicted of kidnapping, was shot dead live on TV along with his brother. The incident occurred in Prayagraj, also known as Allahabad, where Ahmed was under police escort and speaking to reporters. Ahmed had a long history with both politics and the criminal world. He was accused in a murder case as far back as 1979 and had dozens of cases registered against him, including kidnapping, murder, and extortion. In March of this year, a local court sentenced him and two others to life in jail in a kidnapping case. On Saturday night, while being escorted by police to a medical checkup at a hospital, Ahmed and his brother, Ashraf, both in handcuffs, were shot dead by three men who had been posing as journalists. The assailants quickly surrendered and were taken into custody, but a policeman and a journalist were also injured at the scene. The incident has raised questions about how a man could be killed in front of the media and the police, and experts are calling for an investigation. Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath has ordered a judicial probe into the killings and banned large gatherings in the districts of Uttar Pradesh state to ensure peace. Uttar Pradesh is governed by the Hindu nationalist BJP, and opposition parties have criticized the killings as a security lapse. Rights activists accuse the police of carrying out extrajudicial killings, which the state's government denies. More than 180 people facing various charges have been killed by police in the state in the past six years. Encounters carried out by police are, at least in part, a response to India's grindingly slow and dysfunctional criminal justice system. This incident highlights the ongoing issue of crime and corruption in India's political and criminal worlds. It also brings into question the role of the police in maintaining law and order, and the need for reform in the criminal justice system. We will continue to follow this story as it develops. Stay tuned to Slant News TV for more updates and analysis on this and other breaking news stories.